Hello, my name is Billy Carando. I'm a developer advocate with IBM. And in this video, we're going to look at how to test logging statements in Java. Before we get into the how, let's just quickly review why you may consider doing this. So of course, when any time we write automated tests, we want to verify the correctness of our code. And in this case, we're verifying the correctness of the logging statements being written. We would typically only need to do this if we're doing something besides writing either a static string to our log or writing out a stack trace. So if you're actually taking out values from an object, that would be a time when you want to actually test your logging statements. But the big reason we would want to do this is to prevent a dual deploy. So when production errors occur, one of the first things we go to is looking at our logging statements. If you're looking at your log and the logging statement isn't providing useful information, you may have a situation where you must first perform one deploy to correct your logging statements to provide more useful information, and then a second deploy that actually resolves the production issue. I've been in this situation many times before, and it's a very frustrating situation to be in. So with the why out of the way, let's look at the how. And the good news is it's actually very, very simple to test your logging statements. In my code here, I have the log producing service, which has a single method taken in a single argument, which we are then appending to our logging statement. In order to test our logging statements, we need to create our own custom appender so we can have access to them. In my example, I am using logback as my log implementation, though the code would look pretty similar if you're using log4j or log4j2 or most other logging implementations. In my appender, I am writing all logging statements to a static list. As you notice from the Java doc, this is not thread safe. Generally, since you will be only testing logging statements at the unit test level, and unit tests would typically be executed in a single thread and serially, this shouldn't generally be the issue. If, for some reason, you are executing your unit test in parallel, I actually did write an article on how to do this logging statement testing in a parallel unit test environment, which I link to down in the description, and the link will also be shown here at the end of the video. I added two additional methods to my appender, get events and clear events which we'll look at here in a moment. So now we need to tell logback to use this custom appender in logback-test.xml, which is a great way of telling logback to use different logging behavior when in the test environment. We are telling it to use this static logback appender. And we want to have everything being logged, so we set the log level to trace. All right, in our test code, test log producing service, I have a couple of test methods that are then just reading to make sure that the logging statement is being written correctly. So we also have the before each that will clear out the logging statements between each test. We execute this, everything returns green, and so we can see it's actually very, very simple to test logging statements in Java. Here is a link to the code that I've used in this video as well as a blog article I wrote a while back on this same subject. Additionally, I was using assert j in my test code, and here is a link to an article I wrote about assert j, as well as a link to the article I wrote on how to test logging statements in a parallel test environment. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you later.